How you doing, Lucas? Good, sir. How are you? Good. Um, how did the uh, offensive line look today out of practice? Looks like you guys were in pads. So give us a little summary on uh, what you thought of the line play. How was the run blocking looking? It was good. Today's our, uh, our highest day of the week. So it was violent. It was mean. It's just how we want it. Good. And uh, I know Coach Munkin mentioned after the scrimmage last week, he wasn't too too excited with the pre-snap penalties. How are you guys doing with uh, keeping those kind of self-inflicted wounds to a minimal? Good. You know, we, we focus, that's a big focus this week. Obviously, it was pretty poor in the scrimmage. So it's just it's keeping your focus when you're tired. When you when you get deep into a period and, and you know, you're, you're getting exhausted, you got to just keep locking in and focus. So it's been a big reminder this week. And uh, what are you most excited about for Friday night? Just to, just to play someone else, open it up in Mikey. It's exciting. We've been, been playing each other for the last five, six months. So it'll be it'll be fun to hit somebody else. Thanks, Lucas. Yes, sir. Hi, Lucas. Ken McMillan of the Times Herald Record. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. Uh, Lucas, you're heading into the senior year here. Can you reflect on what it's like to be start uh, starting in a game like this? It's, it's very exciting, you know. All the guys work so hard here, and you know the, the four years at West Point is a tough time. So to be able to, you know, see your hard work pay off, and you know, get a start, no matter what year you're in, it's really impressive here, and I'm super excited and grateful and ready to get after it. You find your focus a little different this year. Um, I, I think it's it's similar to last year. I think we got we have bigger goals this year, and we we know we're uh we're ready to go. So we're we're excited. So I think the focus is always the same. You always get the same goal, but. We're, we're locked in. How about your own focus? Does it seem like, you know, uh, not to become waddling, but it's like, this is the last season opener. This is the last this. That's going to happen all throughout your senior year. For sure. I'm not sure that's really hit me yet. You know, I've been playing football my whole life, and you, you work so hard for, for these moments in this, in this senior year. So I'm just I'm grateful for every practice we have, every lift we have, every game we have, and just want to make sure we take advantage of all of them. Lucas, talk to us about how the offensive line has come together here during preseason. Uh, we're awesome. They're all my best friends. Um, every summer we do a little, a little. We call ourselves a mob. We do a little mob trip. Um, you know, we hang out all summer on the weekends and lift all year round. And just this camp, we've spent. We, I mean, we lived together for eighteen days, so we're really close. We're, we're ready to um, play violent, play fast, and you know, make some holes for Bryson and Kanye and Jake and all those guys back there. I'm curious, the, just the nature of college football, people come in and out of the lineup. You guys, two things. One, you guys are very interchangeable. But two, you, you've lost some talent, so you're always plugging in new people. Do you? Is it a challenge to get you guys all on the same page? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think we're that's one of our, our strengths, and that's one of our talents. And, you know, they stress from when you get here that, the more positions you play, the more you know, the more valuable you are, the more chance you have to make a travel roster. So I think all the guys really work hard at that and work hard to understand the offense as a whole, not just locked into their right tackle position or, or center position. So having that versatility makes us very dangerous, and you know, guys take pride in that. And last thing, if you can give us some words about Bryson, how he's playing during the season, and what you kind of kind of expect from him this year. I mean, he's a great leader. He's one of my best friends, and um he's one of the toughest kids I know so it's it's nice having a guy like that back there you know you, you make some holes for him and he's gonna he's gonna make some guys miss and he's gonna run some guys over so I'm excited to see him play excited to see him excel and then lead this team so hey um just one more thing uh Connor Finucane um is got a shot here starting he's had a lot of experience what's it like seeing him in the lineup it's awesome man. I mean like I said the whole all of the line group's really close so it's, it's great to have him back he's very very talented player three-year starter, four-year travel guy. So that his experience, his knowledge has, has helped us all and a lot of young guys, and he has a lot of experience in this triple option offense. So it's exciting to have him back and it just gives us more depth, which makes us more dangerous. You got to play last Friday with the uh, the scrimmage. What's it like playing in the new stadium format? It's a little weird. It, you know, you're not having those those stands on that side, but, you know, that, that's not our our big focus. Our, we were worried about our assignments, winning games, and moving the ball. So – but yeah, it is a little bit different for sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lucas. Yes, sir. Thank you. What's that? Is there anything else on Zoom for Lucas? Uh, hey, Lucas, it's uh, Sal from Black Bent Nation. How are you? Good, sir. How are you? 
Good. Um, when you first came to West Point, could you have ever seen yourself uh, lining up at tackle for a game, or is that something that you could have projected yourself at? Or no, nah, I really wasn't expecting that. I mean, high school I was a running back, and all my offers were like tight end or linebacker or, or D line. So I never really saw offensive line in my future, but I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm where I'm at. What What do one more question about Bryson? What do you think? Have you seen a change in him? being a captain this year over being, you know, the quarter, starting quarterback last year? Uh, I mean, I, he's always had those leadership qualities. I think he's maybe a little more vocal. You know, you can see the confidence in, in the guys that trust him and have confidence in him. So when, when he's playing well, when he's leading the huddle, and I think guys strive off that and, you know, it gives us all motivation. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, sir.